What's up, guys? It's Rich back with another Grey Zone Warfare video for you guys. Today, we're going to talk about how to make some easy and quick, efficient money. This isn't going to be a super duper in depth guide. I kind of wanted to show you one POI where you can come to farm some money really easily, kill some AI, get back to base, and make like two to or one or two to three grand each run. Um, and just come here with an empty bag and what you need to look for and the easiest way to do it. So, let's tune in. Let's get into it. It's going to be the sawmill POI. And I'm going to show you the best way you can clear these AI out. Um, without, you know, taking too much damage without dying. So this is pretty easy to do solo. So if this helps you out, guys, make sure to drop that like and drop that sub for more Gray Zone Warfare guides. Remember, I'll be live over on Twitch, guys. Let's jump into this now. All right, guys, so the best thing with Sawmill, um, there's a couple of ways you can look at this. When you're coming down this hill from LZ um, Echo 2, I'm also on PvE mode, so this might be the easiest way to do this. If you want to farm some money, um, I recommend crossing the water here because then you can use these logs to your advantage and use them for cover. Um... Because a decent amount of them do spawn around here. So you have one here. Once we'll I shoot this first guy, it's probably going to trigger a couple in that area to come this way. Yep, there's one on my left. Try and use these logs to cover, and I can try and spray him when I see him. He's dead. Make sure you use as much cover as possible when you're in this area. Um, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. They do spawn in the back of the compound as well. They just kind of spawn all over the compound, so you just kind of be careful. Because they can really just turn a corner for you. There's one right here. There's a here on my left as well. Let's see if I can see where that guy's at. If you're curious what gun I'm using, I'm using the Voodoo site with the Mark 18. Oh, I just saw him right. There's one down. There's another one down. They can fire from my right, it looks like. Yep. That guy just ate bullets there. That was kind of crazy. Using as much natural cover, or I guess artificial cover, to your advantage is super duper helpful. There we go. The main guys you're looking for, obviously you want to loot all these guys for keys. Um, because sawmill keys are pretty useful, especially for some quests if you haven't done them yet. But the main thing you're looking for these guys is the M4A1s. Those are the guys that have the juice. That's the where the money is. Also, there is a boss that spawns in here. Um... He does generally spawn in in this like shack. This one right here. It's on the left side of the compound. Obviously, I'm on the right, so I'm on the back. I won't see him in there now. I also may have killed him already. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to look for guys with M4A1s, and we're going to look for keys. That's the biggest thing. So M4A1, CQA1, you'll put in your bag, and you'll drag over the CQA1 upper receiver. So this right here, this is what you're looking for. So you make, in order to bring it over, it needs to be in your bag, or else it won't let you take the parts apart. CQA1 upper receiver is a 4 by one You just put in your bag, and you can drop the gun, check their vests, and check their bags for any um, additional keys while you're in here. And then we'll grab that grenade as well, because that doesn't hurt to have. If you, any of them have the GSSHs as well, grab those. Personally, that's the best headset in the game. That's what I love to rock. It gives you the most footstep audio. And it gives you... Um, just feels like a little bit more of a competitive advantage as well. There's a guy just hiding in there. Oh, he's in the back side. That guy was shooting me. So here's another M4A1 user. It's perfect. These are the guys that you're really looking for. I'm telling you. This is where you're going to make the most money. Um, in comparison to the... Just the other loot. Because money right now in this game... Um, is pretty hard to come by. Um, there's not a lot of things you can do for money. So this is one of the better ways to farm it without taking too much of your time up. Um, hopefully this whole thing just takes like 10 to 15 minutes. Let's we'll see if we can find this guy that's back here. It's yapping his, his, his life away. There he is. Looks like he's an AK, but I do want to check him for keys anyway. For any keys. That's the biggest thing. Keys, keys, keys. Um, one for yourself for quests, right? And two, to be able to help your homies, or three, to be able to sell them. That's uh, a lot of people are paying for keys that they can't get to their quests, and it's really nice to have those keys additionally on yourself. To, so when you come back here, you can loot this area, and you can also help buddies complete quests and stuff like that. So keys are very important. So we're going to check here these guys that I killed as well. Where are they at? There's right here. AK user. You can also fill your bag up if you don't find enough M4A ones with AKs and parts like that. Um, which I might end up doing because I've only found three M4A1 upper receivers so far. There was a guy dead in the bush here. And then you can take that extra gun and sell it. And then if you want to throw some helmets on in your bag as well, you can do that as well. Oh, I thought I just got shot on. So there's another M4. Grab that receiver, throw that there, check him for keys, nothing. And we'll move to the next storage shack or storage shed. I don't have storage office, sorry, brother. Damn. By the way, love your YouTube videos. Thank Helped you. A lot early. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So there are a lot of players that do come here to farm the M4A1s. Um, so just be aware of that if you do, like I was saying, if you are looking for 
uh, AI to be respawned, then all you got to do is head back to the LZ and then you can grab and grab the respawn timer to pop it once they start respawning. It takes about 15 minutes, so you can just sit at the LZ for a few minutes, throw on a one-shot rich video, and then wait for them to respawn. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some of these AKs and we're probably going to head out because um, there's other players here and... I don't necessarily want to waste my time grabbing stuff, so just make sure your bag is filled. Every time you go out into Lemang, I, I don't know if I said it earlier, but make sure you come back with a filled bag. Um, there's no reason to not have a filled bag. Simply simply due to the part that... Um, well, there's an M4A1 receiver here, so that's good. Um, simply to the fact that it's hard to make money in this game, right? So being able to farm these receivers, right, is going to be really, really useful. So so with that, that's kind of everything I kind of have a, that I want to grab. I'm gonna grab these mags and then sell them too and just fill up these last slots. And then I'll let these guys kind of have this area here. And then we'll go back and sell it and see how much we made from that little run there. Um, that was probably like what, like eight minutes long, I think. If I had to guess, obviously I'll see you'll see the link of the video at the end of it. But there's also a couple of different if you have some keys for here, this is the office building, like those guys were asking me for. Um so this in here, I don't have the office storage key, so that's in there. But if you have the office key, the sawmill office key, this opens to this room right here, right? And this key, there's some armor and stuff that spawns on here. In this case, a headset. That's pretty neat. We'll actually end up grabbing that if I can because I love that headset. Um, and we're going to drop this and put this here. And then we're going to take the headset and put it in there because that is the best headset in the game. Just make sure you check around here. Some armor does spawn here. Maybe in this back table, there's a helmet there as well. So there's a couple things there you can farm as well, additionally to the M4A1 receivers. But if you're just here for some super, super, super simple, quick money runs, that's going to be the best way to do it. So I'm going to call the heli back. I'm going to cut over to where I'm at base, and we'll see how much we made back from that run. All right, guys, so we're back at base camp, obviously with the same bag we filled up from the run we had. I'm going to put everything in here. into the. That is, I think, everything we took from the run right here. So this little section right here, and that was only maybe 8 to 10 minutes, if I had to guess. So let's see how much we made. So we're going to sell all this. Boom, 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 boom. 2.1K. So 2.1K per 8 minutes. Um, per 8 to 10 minutes of slow, quick, little clears of sawmill. Isn't that bad. You can probably get a good limit. You could probably make like 10 to 20K in, 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 I would say, maybe around an hour, give or take, if you're pretty efficient with it. Um, so it's it's not a horrible thing. The biggest thing is I'll note is if you are on a map where you see people at Sawmill or friendlies on Sawmill, before you even go, just requeue and try and find a map that's not clear. Um, but if you're there and and there's bodies that are uh, AIs that are dead, just come back to the LZ, give them like 10 to 15 to respawn, and then you can go back and clear the area. So if that helped you out, guys, make sure you drop that like, drop that sub for more Gray Zone Warfare guides. I'll keep it pumping, keep it coming. Catch me live over on Twitch. We got an awesome community. We're blasting through goals over there. Um, we're about to hit 2,000. We got a 24-hour stream coming up. Um, goals on YouTube are being blasted as well. You guys are the best. Best Gray Zone community out there. I just want to say thank you for the love. You guys are the bomb. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.